I've got good news and bad news, and I've always found it's better to get the bad news first. Just go raw and no rubber and hit you with the cold water right away. Force feed you the vegetables so that way the dessert tastes even better. The bad news, I'm about to show you an insufferable asshole, perhaps one of the most miserable people to listen to on the planet. The good news, he's about to be arrested. Let me introduce you to Johnny. Johnny is the epitome of turbo virgin. I know this word gets tossed around a lot, but he is a self-proclaimed incel and one of YouTube's most prolific stalkers slash woman harassers. This goofy goober looks like if Raymundo from Rocket Power and Tommy Wiseau did a fusion dance and created the world's most socially inept asshole. Now Johnny's whole shtick was he would wait outside of bars, clubs, and even parking garages, literally just fucking live in parking garages, until he saw the slightest hint of a human female nearby and then he would get his phone out and start recording himself, following them, insulting them, and demanding they fuck him. And he'd follow them for what felt like miles. These videos would go on for so long, and always it would end up the same. Them threatening to get the authorities involved, because they were literally scared for their lives around this guy, because he was completely unhinged. And he continued this shit for about a year. I've known about his pitiful existence for quite some time, but just never really wanted to bring any attention to it for obvious reasons, but... Now, he pushed the envelope a bit too far and flew a bit too close to the sun, and his tiny little micro dick burned up. He actually assaulted a woman who defended herself from him. He pepper sprayed her, and it was after he instigated the entire conflict, and now that video has surfaced and the authorities have gotten involved and they're looking to arrest him and potentially charge him with assault with a deadly weapon, as well as a hate crime and the discharge of tear gas. The article also alleges that he was recently arrested after getting kicked out of a club with his friend and while getting escorted out basically claimed white power and some other shit like that. Which sounds par for the course for a fucking homunculus like this guy. Imagine evolving for millions upon millions of years and ending up like Johnny. What a bad fucking deal. Just an actual shit stain on the planet. But anyway, I'd like to show you the video that is going to lead to his arrest. What, what triggered it all here and started this chain reaction where finally it looks like he will no longer be terrorizing innocent people on the streets. Can I hang out with you? That guy just stole my car, so he's dead. Mm. Where'd he go? Newport Coast? Huh? Can I hook up with you? What kind of vagina do you have? Is it an innie or an Audi? Does it have beef curtains? I'm gonna call the cops if you don't. Mm, know. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. You're annoying, dude. Why are you calling me? Because I wanna fuck. That's his real voice, by the way. He's not putting on some kind of show. He's not playing a character. He genuinely sounds like one of the Looney Tunes character inhaled helium forever. It actually just sounds like he's making fun of a stereotypical incel demanding tindies from mommy. That is just his normal state of being. He does it unironically. Man's collected all the infinity stones of cringe and ascended to a level beyond pathetic. I'll go ahead and play the rest of the clip. My fat ass cock is ready to get hard for you. Why would you call the cops on me, bro? I'm just speaking. It doesn't matter. Fuck you, you little bitch. You little void. Oh, you little. Whoa, what's wrong with you? Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Hey. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out, you just kick me in the balls. You back up. You back up. You back up. Throw that at me, you're gonna. It's an absolute shame that he didn't lose his footing and fall down the stairs in front of him. I've never prayed so hard for shoelaces to malfunction in my life. So yeah, the guy's obviously a coward. He carries pepper spray because he'll push people to the absolute edge and when they finally do, like, defend themselves. He'll just pepper spray them. Now, of course, there's almost zero people in the world that like this guy and can stand to be around him. I imagine even his own parents drink themselves into a dreamless slumber every single night, just regretting the day that they conceived this failure. But I did see on Twitter a couple of people blame the woman here, saying she assaulted him first. Now, of course, Twitter is just this disgusting cum dumpster of the most brain-rotted clowns imaginable. But I did want to at least talk about it. There's such a drastic difference between throwing a shoe after being verbally harassed for however many minutes before filming, because he was doing this even before he started filming, this is only a piece of the video, 
to be harassed that long and then just respond by throwing a shoe is completely different than getting fucking pepper sprayed. It just can't even be compared. That's like if a kid shot a spitball at you and you responded by hitting them with a sledgehammer. Pepper spray is hardcore. It's a legitimately painful experience from everyone I've ever known to be pepper sprayed. They have said it's the most painful thing they've ever experienced. Luckily, I haven't been pepper sprayed, but I know from what I've seen and all the people that I know that it is something that isn't just laughed off or something trivial. So it's just not even in the same ballpark. And she did it in what I consider to be self-defense. This was like 3 a.m., the witching hour, don't summon Freddy Fazbear at 3 a.m. kind of shit. Like, this is haunted. This guy is hanging out at a parking garage in the middle of the night being fucking creepy and weird, saying things like my hard cock is ready for you and shit like that, you don't know what he's gonna do. That is a dangerous person. So to like, get him away from you and throw a shoe, I think is a, like an appropriate response. And especially because he already proved you can't just walk away from the confrontation, because he had just previously followed a woman all the way to her car, who was panicking, making up a story about having her car stolen and visibly uncomfortable and worried for her own fucking life. So her trying to scare him away like a pigeon on the beach was really like the only thing she could do to like defuse the situation and make him stop. And then he responded by ruining his life with the pepper spray because now he'll be arrested for it and I cannot fucking wait. I think that is extremely exciting news that this guy is finally going to face some serious repercussions for this shit because it's been going on for quite some time. He has a long history of doing this shit without remorse and this is beyond deserved. I'd like to show you just one more clip that survived when his channel got nuked. This is just another example of the kind of shit that he would do on a regular basis. Hey, are you single? Are you single? Yeah, I am. Oh, you think I'm hot? Oh, I don't say that. <laughs> you don't think I'm hot? I can't even see what that one is. Oh, really? I do you do you live here? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> do you want to hang out? Um, probably not right now. It's all night. And... What are you gonna do later? Sleep. sleep. Can I come sleep with you? You don't want a massage? No, I'm good. <laughs> Luckily, she eventually escapes from the seventh circle of hell there, but this was his content. This is all he would do. He would just wait to find women pretty much anywhere, really, and make them as scared and uncomfortable as possible and film it. That was his entire existence. That was his whole purpose. And now it's finally over can finally breathe a nice sigh of relief. You won't accidentally see this man sitting on a fucking park bench somewhere and ruining your day. So I just wanted to share the both bad and good news here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.